What is going on everybody? Patrick Quick here. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Make it go from red to gray and hit that bell that follows so you never miss another video. Also, leave a like on this video and leave a comment. Um, pertaining to this video, we are going to be looking at the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for the month of May. I took a long time to even order a box from them, like monthly wise. Um, all the ones that you have seen lately have been pickups from Walmart. Reason being is because the most expensive priced item in that last box I had purchased for the subscription was Excite Gel and it was priced at like $10.99 and I had just picked up some from Walmart for a dollar. So I was very disappointed. I took some time off, but I'm coming back to it to give it a second chance to see what's gonna happen. Also, if you do leave comments, I get back to them as soon as possible, or I will give you a heart. I do read and look at every comment that's given, and just know that there is a 50 subscriber giveaway because I just hit that little milestone. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check that one out so you can learn how to enter into that because in a future video, I will be announcing the winner. And I just added a new bait from another video to that giveaway. So it just keeps getting a little bit better. So thank you for being here and being a part of this. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this box. So the first thing that we have in here is some Harmony hooks. It's just some worm. They're EWGs. And it doesn't really say what size they are, but I would venture to say they're maybe like a one, two, and three, like a little three pack. We have a fish oi, fish oi lures. It says I'd hit that. Not really sure how you pronounce this. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's a nice looking worm with a little pintail. A lot of action on the back of that. Every single time there's a lure that has that little pintail like that, I mean, it just, it has so much action. Even just sitting in the water, the water makes it move like crazy. Um, I like the colors on this, it's actually really nice. Sucks it's only a four pack, but you know, it is what it is. Not a bad start. The second thing we have in here are some Swamp Swirl uh, stick worms from Bruiser Baits. They are seven. There are seven. Not a bad looking stick bait. I actually kind of like that blue and green. It reminds me of the crawfish around the area that have the blue. And it's got that black fleck in there. Not a bad looking worm at all. Next, we have some. Callens Sunny Tickle Tails, 3.8 inch. These are interesting, I've never seen this before. They look like a millipede with a paddle tail. That's actually really cool. I'm hoping that the packaging uh, didn't mess that tail up and it'll still have good action because I'm actually really curious to see how this is gonna work now. That is really, really unique. I like that uh, colorful glitter there in the belly and the black on the top gives it a little bit of a different profile with that see-through and that watermelon split like that and these little barbels here like the millipede and the paddle tail this is really cool really interested in trying this out um, right now my favorite thing in here is this uh, this is really cool shout outs to Callens for making a cool looking unique bait like that I've never seen Next, there is an Optimum Baits Innovation Design Performance. This is a chameleon, and it's like a little tiny paddle tail that's already pre-weighted. So we'd have to pop this out here so you can rig it up, and then it'll go back over it. This is a pretty sharp hook. It clean up some of this debris that's around it and stuff like that didn't come out of the mold too well but it's not it's not bad it's not a bad looking bait um, it'll be interesting to try out it's just a tiny little bait fish profile it's unique next we have a strike pro tournament grade this is a wagon hasu Cranky XSSF75F. 
It's like in a shad color. Very sharp hooks. Yeah, those are pretty sticky. And I, I like that see-through kind of green translucent body on there with that chrome. The top of the uh, bait is definitely see-through. You can see down into it. And as I'm looking at it, I can see through it. And then you go to the sides and it's that chrome reflective. You get that mirror kind of thing going on it. I like the eye. It is silent. And it appears to be a wake bait. So really, really cool. It'd be something that would be good to use right now. Nice looking lure. Ooh, that's sharp. And the last but not least, I've heard a lot of things about this. This is cycle bait. I'm not a Vikings fan, but the purple and gold, I'm not even mad at it. It looks real good. This is a little bit of a closer up of the cycle bait. There's its eye, that nice purple and that goldish color. The hook is very sharp. And this is the cycle bait's unique feature is this piece right here as it moves into the water. I'll be very curious to actually see this work in the water itself to see exactly how the movement is. But it's got a big willow on there, really nice looking bait. Uh, I am actually pretty excited to try this out. This is something unique and I like things that are different and unique. Of course, it comes with a dibble. The dibble is a little bit different. It has a nice little uh, booklet now like this. The what's in the box, a sticker, which says tree pounder. And it has the cycle bait card in here which means that it's the featured bait in the box which is really cool gives some information about the cycle bait uh, I like this touch that they have in here and then they have a card here with another one it's the optimum optimum swim bait and it also gives recommendations about that and where to fish them so two of them were featured in this box based off of those cards that's really cool. I, I like that kind of feature where it kind of explains more about them because they are different and unique. So I will give them that. I will give Mystery Tackle Box the benefit of the doubt to try another box next month. I did like this box a lot better. I was not disappointed. So shout outs to Mystery Tackle Box for doing a better job, in my opinion, for my box of May. Let me know what you thought of the baits that came inside this box. Let me know which one your favorite was down in the comments. And as always, Thanks for sticking with me, and I will catch you all later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the mummy worms with me today, along with a bait caster and a few other things. Got two mummy worms rigged up on a jig. I'm just gonna toss it in there and see what happens. Kinda wanna go away from the current slightly but not get too far away from my stuff. I don't want to be not looking at somebody steal it. Oh, look at that. This wasn't a lure hunting video, but hey man, I will take a flat sided square bill any day. I'm not sure what brand this is. I'll have to clean it up later and take a look at it, but that's pretty cool. That's a way to start a day right there. Into the bucket. 